let me mention three straight things. Number one, we are bringing our ideas. We've had a very honest but candid conversation around the table. We've had others, but we've, they've also listened to us because we believe that uh, we do not want anymore to be a continent where people complain, where we are victims, where we are the corner. We, we believe that Africa can step forward in a very proud way to work with the rest of the world on the challenges we have and provide solutions. We agree, for example, with the suggestions that it could be difficult, maybe nations, maybe when we talk about national interests, how do you uh, enforce carbon tax? How do you en enforce shipping tax? How do you deal with financial transaction tax? I mean, they are legitimate concerns. But I dare say those who met in that little room in Bretton Wood had as difficult choices to make as we have today. But they didn't walk away from it. They forged a consensus. I think in the world we live in today, there is a lot more creativity. There is a lot more innovation. Technology can give us the opportunity to levy this tax, raise the resources, and be able to give as many, including the third issue I want to say what Africa is bringing. We are the continent with the largest renewable energy reserves, whether it is wind, solar, geothermal, hydro. How are we going to raise the resources to unlock the huge potential in our continent? It is by having this kind of candid conversation. It is by bringing our ideas on how we can be creative, how we can be innovative, how we can leverage on technology so that we can raise the requisite resources to unlock the Hinga Dam that is giving us uh, nightmares, which can provide electricity to 15 countries. We still have 600 million Africans who do not have access to electricity. 900 of them without access, 900 million of them without access to clean cooking uh, energy. We need the scale of the resources that we are discussing and the, to democratize the raising of those resources so that it becomes a lot more easier to make decisions going into the future. So finally, let me say, Africa is coming with ideas. We are coming with our resources. We have the largest um, renewable energy resources. Two thirds of the world's arable, um, uh, uncultivated arable land is in our continent. We have the youngest population in the continent. These are assets that Africa is coming to the table with so that we can provide an outcome that is win-win contributed by everybody.